All right, here we go, guys, and we're back at the 2024 Stewart Boat Show on a really hot, uh, humid day here in Stewart, Florida, and you are going to hear me mention that multiple times today because we are looking at walkarounds, expresses, and pilot houses, specifically three models, one from Parker, one from Albemarle, and one from Grady White, and what do all three of these boat manufacturers have in common? Hey, they're all domiciled, located in, based out of North Carolina, and I, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit at the end, too, but it, it seems like the big Florida manufacturers had basically given up on building these types of boats, meaning the pilot houses, expresses, walkarounds, cabin boats, cabin fishing boats specifically here. Uh, and why is that? I, I get that Florida's hot, but I got to tell you, this day, being in that cabin was a lot cooler, even though none of these had air conditioning working, than being out on the deck of the boat. A curious phenomenon, North Carolina still seems to have boat manufacturers that are willing to produce these types of boats. Uh, there, there's a handful also in the Northeast. Ocean Sport 30, what I dubbed my favorite boat at this show. I'll include a link to that video in the description, Pacific Northwest. They still make these types of boats, these walk around pilot houses, expresses. Um, not so the big manufacturers in Florida. Uh, we'll, we'll kick off the video with the 21 from Parker, their 2120 pilot house. No price on this one, looked it up online. Um, MSRP is just under 100 with an F-150, a Yamaha F-150, the one at the show, had an F-200. Really cool boat. We'll start with that one. We'll progress through the Albemarle and the Grady. And we'll come back at the end with our thoughts. Right. Yamaha F200, four cylinder. On a boat you don't expect to see in Florida, a Parker 2120 pilot house. Whoa. Slipped a little there. Uh, just a pocket pilot house. Step down into the cabin. You can see you're, you're, you have a very forward driving position. I'm, I, I'm only. A handful of feet from the bow, but nice and insulated in here. And, and on an 80 degree and humid day here in Florida with all that wind, it is so nice and cool in here. I can't tell you, you see these windows do open up if you want uh, to jump in or you want some air to come in. Digital throttle, storage under there, flip up bolster seat here. One garment screen on this one. Seating for minimum two guys. If you're my friends, it's probably only two, but if you're normal sized adults, it could be three. Uh, you do have more storage and or sleeping room in here. You can fill this middle area, create a berth and sleep. You see a portable head in here too. Nice if you have children or, or a wife, a girlfriend that is a little shy about using a bucket or, you know, peeing overboard. It, nice to be able to just jump in here and do that. I'm not a huge fan of these step-ups. Not so much when you're coming in, but when you're coming out. Uh, just got to be careful you don't slam your head. You see it does have a door. It does close. A little step here to go up to the bow. It's a nice little boat. And there's no price on it, so can't share that info, but we'll maybe look for some comps online and see what these go for brand new. Uh, I would think they're relatively reasonable. I wouldn't want that. Twin F300s on a 300 Marlin, a Grady White. And I believe technically this is a walk around. And uh, why it's a walk around? Look at this. You got this wonderful area here. Really easy to navigate to the front of the boat. Uh, you can even fish from up here. You could sit here if you want. You see a windlass up there. Uh, windlass controls on the other side of them. And there's some folks sitting there. A couple windshield wipers on either side. There's a hatch. Uh, this, this is a dying boat type. The, the walk around. The, pre-center console craziness. Uh, these might have been what you saw more than anything else out there. And uh, just not that many made anymore. Manufacturers have, you know, it costs less money to build a, build a center console than to build this with a, with a big cabin in it. Yeah, side entry door, flip up uh, rear-facing seat here. 
pardon me, a, a rear bench seat that flips up here, big kill box here. I opened this on the 300cc. I mean, it's massive. It's probably a live well here. What you think? Yeah, a little, little area here. More storage there on either side. This might be a live well. No, this is a sink. This might be a live well. Yeah, a live well. And tackle storage here. See the driver position there. We like the boat we have. Right here's the cabin. Air conditioning is an option. I just heard it. Oh my God, even without AC, it's really hot in Stewart today. It's been, it's been terribly cold here for Florida, like in the 60s. There's a stove here, a microwave, a sink, a fridge. What is this little area? Let's see, I like that. Mm, there it goes. A little, you can put a little garbage bin in there if you want. Sleep a couple people here. There's some uh, rod storage ability here too. There's a TV here. And I love this separate entry for a head. That, uh, yeah, there's a drain there if you want to take a quick shower in here with the, uh, that, that will pop out, the, the sink nozzle. There's the toilet. And we mentioned when we were up front, that opens and provides ventilation too. Uh, really, really nice. Really nice. This brings back a lot of nostalgia. When I was a kid, this is what, nobody had center consoles. Everybody had these walk-arounds. I like this too, the, the lounge seat. It's a driving position. No electronics, but uh, yeah. All right. All right, we're looking at two big UK made Cox diesels, V8 diesels, and we are on a 30 foot Albemarle Express. Uh, uh, just a legendary, and I mean legendary, uh, boat for the canyons from North Carolina straight up to Maine. Uh, folks love these boats. You see, it's a cabin boat, it's express style. Got a, a full enclosure in here, a uh, couple Garmin screens. Price on this boat show special, $595. Remember, those are really expensive, so that eats up a lot of that price. Uh, I was told Cruise is about 35 on this, getting 1.5. The diesels will be more fuel efficient than obviously a, a, a comparable gas-powered engine. We do have a tuna door here, big live well here in the center. I presume this might be access to your, yeah, access, big, big access to your bilge area. Oh. Fish box on that side, fish box on this side, rod holders all up and down. Got the curtain here too, keep out of the elements if you pull that up. You got a mezzanine facing seat here, you got storage, tackle boxes here, some, some of the switches for the fishy stuff is there too, the drains and whatnot. Sink area, bait prep area here, more storage there, more storage here and a cavernous cabin and a legendary ride. Uh, really, really nice. And you don't, I've yet to see one of these out on the water in Long Island, but uh, you know, like everything else, energy-wise, times are changing. And I'm wondering for some of these big heavy boats, if rather than, you know, put three or four huge go fast engines on them, racing 400s like on that, that Nortec, do you just put a couple of these on and get the benefits of the torque, planing off easy, and be done with it? All right, let me know what you think of this. And there you go, an overview of three walk-around type boats, all built in North Carolina. A dying breed, as we said uh, multiple times during the video. Let me know in the comments which you would pick and why, and if you have any idea why it, it seems that North Carolina, and to some extent Pacific Northwest, this is the Ocean Sport 30, mentioned in the beginning of the video, this was my uh, boat of the year, if you will, from this boat show at Stewart, Florida. Um, definitely they are prevalent, these style boats, the pilot houses, the walk-arounds, the expresses, in the Pacific Northwest, and for some reason North Carolina. If you have any idea why North Carolina is still big on these boats, shoot it in the comments, hope you enjoyed this video. 
As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.